Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dar Cinema, and today, guys, another Ruby video for you. Yes, we have had now official concept art of the characters and how they're going to look. So, as someone uh, mentioned to me in the comments of my last video, there will be a time skip between the finale of Volume Three and the uh, and the first episode of Volume Four, the premiere of Volume Four. So, how long? I would have judged. Before I saw these images, I thought it was just going to be a few months. And it looks like it, it seems to be about that. Uh, looking at Ruby here, she seems to have grown a bit taller and a bit matured. Perhaps I would say half a year has passed, maybe a, maybe a full year, uh, because her hair seems to have grown out. Her Actually, her uh, cloak and her hood seem a little more torn up than we last saw it. Um definitely just from this concept art she seems to have looked a lot more like fully grown like she spent more time out in the wilds of remnant rather than in the city which definitely makes sense considering how volume three ended um weiss looks like 10 times different than when we saw her from volume three no none of the combat skirt nothing not even a weapon on her, at least in this concept art. It's very formal, so it seems she's fully integrated back into her life in Atlas. Uh, seems to be just that kind of that top tier, like rich girl clothing that, like, kind of we assumed she'd wear back when we first met her in volume one. Uh, so, my thoughts of maybe the volumes cutting to each member of Team Ruby during the season appear to be valid uh the other image i have here is blake blake seems to just uh, her design really doesn't look that different aside from the long coat uh that she's wearing and her hair may have grown out a bit but again this is more just to show the passage of time than anything else what she's doing i can't really get a grasp on like where she is now because all we saw at the end of volume three was just her running away from beacon uh pretty much abandoning her team so it'll be interesting to see where she's going after this she's still wearing the bow which i find pretty interesting that she's just not abandoning the bow altogether i mean there's really no reason to keep a secret that you're a faunus now because of that and then i think finally the one that we're all waiting for is is yang yang seems to be more I want to say, like, just the, the way her stance is in this photo, it's less of that, like, perky, like, very happy-go-lucky person we know. It's much, much more serious, and it looks like she's, she's right, amped up and ready to go, especially uh, considering when we saw her last, she was pretty much laying in bed and just ready to just give up on everything. So it's nice to see that she's going to get back into the swing of things. I hope she gets a metal arm for the one she lost in the uh, in the finale it's it was i believe it was the finale or the episode before that it's been a while since i've seen him but anyway uh hopefully she'll get that metal arm from atlas that's probably the best place she's going to get it at this point um and her she doesn't really look all that different except she's wearing like long uh longer pants like in a jacket she's not She's more clothed than um, her previous incarnations. She's very, uh, her clothing was very out there, very party like. Not this. This is just kind of like straight down to business work, uh, like tough clothing to wear, like the motorcycle uh, pants and whatnot. And finally, guys, the last photo that we're looking at here is a very new species of Grim. This looks like it. I'm tr if I'm reading it right, it's called Beringel. Beringel. Uh, looks like a looks like Gorilla Grodd from The Flash. Just got a bunch of bone plates on him. If you watch The Flash, you're an awesome person. That's a fantastic show. Anyway, I'm glad to see that new species of Grim are being incorporated into this universe. Because one of the best things that I've loved about Ruby is the diversity of the monsters we've been getting. We've been getting monsters that come in all different shapes and sizes. We got a dragon for the last season. Granted, that dragon is frozen on top of Beacon Academy, but I guarantee you, give it a season or two, that dragon's gonna come unstuck. 
But going back to the Berengale, it looks very similar to a uh, gorilla in the sense of just his posture and the giant uh, forearms and whatnot. So, and the size even. It's double the size of Ruby, who if you look in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, they're using as a size reference. Uh, very interested to see how Salem is producing these new types of Grimm. What is her role in all this? Because we only just got one glimpse of her last season in an end credits or, well, not end credit. It was just pretty much, yeah, it was like right before the credits. That was the, our little sting of what was going to happen uh, for next season. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you think of their looks? I like these so far. I like that we're kind of, uh, the characters are evolving and as such their clothes, their weapons, and basically the world around them is evolving as well. I will keep you up to date with any new information that is coming out with Ruby. Then videos are kind of going to be put on, the, on um, a little bit of a hiatus for right now because I will be sending in my computer to get repaired. Obviously, the local places I've been to have had no uh, luck, so I'm going to have to go with uh, somewhere uh, that I know they can get repaired. It'll just take a while. Hopefully not too long so I can keep getting videos out to you guys. So, my name is Dar Cinema. I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If you like what you saw, please leave a like, a comment, and even consider subscribing for even more Ruby content. I will continue to be making videos on Ruby Volume 4 from now with all announcements up until the finale. And even this will be going on for every season of Ruby that I can possibly get to. So four, five, six, as long as this show keeps going, I'll be making videos for it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. And see you later.